Hello and welcome to Taik 18. I am Muhammad Adnan and in this video we are going to discuss about the next Power BI interview question and answers. So before going into that, if you are new to this channel or if you haven't subscribed yet, just click on the subscribe button and also press the bell icon to get the latest notifications. Now let's get started. So the next question is 81. What is paginated reports? Paginated reports are best for scenarios that requires a highly formatted pixel perfect output optimized for printing a PDF generation. Let's take an example of a profit and loss statement of a company or invoice and packaging list generations are the good examples of the type of report you would pr probably want to see as a paginated report. They are really creating a report definition. It doesn't contain the data, it specifies where to get the data, which data to get and how to display the data. When you run the report, the report processor takes the report definition, retrieves the data and combines it with the report layout to generate the report. You can export the following ways in PDF, Word, XML, PowerPoint, Excel and more. And also you can subscribe to a paginated report. Uh, which sends an email with an attachment to whomever you want to send. So I made a separate videos on the paginated report thing. If you haven't seen that, just go and check out that video as well. Now, as we are aware of paginated reports, so what are the limitations in paginated report? So receiving and viewing paginated report requires a Power BI Pro license. For the report to be saved in Power BI premium capacity. So this is not possible if you have Power BI AI Pro workspace. When you subscribe to a paginated report, Power BI sends you an email with the report as an attachment. The maximum limit is up to 25 MB. It can be in PDF, Word, CSV, PowerPoint or Excel format. So now, what is the use of Power BI goals? So goals in Power BI lets customer curate their metrics and track them against key business objectives in a single plane. So some companies follow about the key performance indicator, which we say as KPI. Some companies prefer as OKR. There are multiple ways which you can track things and those things can be possible in Power BI goals. These features enhance data culture by promoting accountability, alignment and visibility for teams and initiatives within organizations. This is a Power BI Pro features. So if you have the Power BI Pro license, then you can start this one. So when it comes to a permission and minimum requirements, so authoring, scorecard, goals and performing check-ins. So for all this kind of thing, you need a Power BI Pro license. So weaving scorecards and goals, Power BI premium capacity plus free users or Power BI Pro license. So anyone can able to view the scorecards and goals. So weaving sample scorecards just to see how it actually works, a free user can get those things. So ideally, if you have the Pro license, then you can immediately start using that. If you have Power BI premium capacity, then the capacity and those who want to create the need a Pro license, and those who just want to view the scorecard, if they are in premium per capacity, then the free users can assign to this workspace and then they can able to view the goals inside to that. The next is, what are the limitations of Power BI goals? So goal doesn't yet support role-level security. For now, the maximum number of sub-goals level is 4. Maybe they will increase in future. Goals don't support publish to web or apps own data scenarios for embedded Power BI analytics. Business to business sharing, sharing across tenants isn't supported so far. B2B sharing, I mean. So scorecards aren't supported for multi geo capacity and goals don't yet support bring your own key feature. The next is what is XMLA endpoints in short? Because this is a large topic, I just want to cut short for this one. So this is applicable only to Power BI Premium, Power BI Premium per user and Power BI Embedded workspaces. 
So using XML endpoint, we can do read or write operations of a Power BI dataset and dataset reusability via use of XML endpoint for accessing a dataset published to this Power BI service from other reporting tools such as Excel, SQL Server, Tableau, DAX Studio and Tableau Editor. So the Tableau is also a third party tool, right? So you can use the Power BI data set using XML endpoint in Tableau. If you like this video, just click on the big thumbs up button. If you are new to this channel or if you haven't subscribed yet, just click on the subscribe button and also press the bell icon to get the latest notifications. But make sure you turn on the notification on your devices. Share it with your friends and colleagues. If you have any queries and feedback, just post it on the comment section below. Thanks for watching. Keep learning. See you in the next video.